everyone, here we are doing a back surface resolution check. Here we are verifying if our unit has a good back, good back resolution by evaluating the signals. And the spring is basically going to be at the top here. Signal A in the middle. Can you see that? Yeah. It's right there. Signal B in the first one. Signal C. Uh, we have a 2.25 megahertz transducer using an Epic 650, a Type 2 steel IIW block. Uh, and our gain is at 60. Uh, we changed our damp to 200 ohms. Volts are output energy is at 200 volts. Let's see if we can, essentially here we want to see, uh, should be like three main signals that will be popping up around here. And uh, we want to make sure that there are, <clears throat> they are separated from each other and that the uh, signal returns to baseline. Let's see here. Right, here we go. So you can see those two tallest ones. That is going to be our A and B signal. That was pretty much even. That's pretty good. Our A signal is strong. And our C signal is the smallest because it's the farthest. Let's see if I can hold this here. Point with that. It's our signal C, signal A, signal B there. Uh, see this chart here. That's what it's supposed to be. This top one is what it's supposed to look like, and that's what it's not supposed to look like. You can see ours looks much more like the top one. So I would pass this unit and say it has good back surface resolution.